I don't care about sex. 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 I've never cared about sex in my entire life. Now, I know this may come as a surprise to most people watching this, especially men, because most men care about sex. But I'm not like most men, okay? When I say I'm built different, that has various different meanings to it. And this is one of those meanings. I don't care about sex. And this is something that it took me a very, 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 very long time to come to terms with. I'm talking about up until recently when I was at the Airbnb with Ice Cold JT and my friend Bryce Wilson, and we were talking about this exact topic. And I admitted to them that I don't care about sex. I genuinely don't. And I feel like in the past, I kind of made excuses or I was just in denial in general about this. Okay, I thought that because other men cared about sex, that meant that I had to care about sex as well. It's not true. I just don't care about sex. I'm different. I think differently. I'm wired differently. Something that I've realized as of late is that I feel like the way that most men think about sex is the way that I think about success. Okay, and you guys help me fill in the blanks here because I'm just working based on assumptions because like I said, I don't think about sex and I don't think like other men. So I'm just assuming that this is how most of you guys think. But I'm assuming that for you, you don't have to force yourself to think about sex. Sex is the natural predominant thought in your mind, assuming that there's not something crazy going on in your life or something crazy going on in that exact moment. Sex is the predominant or even predominant subconscious thought in the back of your mind, as opposed to being a subsidiary thought in the back of your mind. You don't have to force yourself to think about it. It's just completely natural for you. In my case, success takes the place of sex in that context. I don't have to force myself to think about success. It is natural. I naturally think about it 95% of the time. Okay, 95% of my day, I am thinking about success, being successful, thinking about getting to that next level of success, whether it be with YouTube, writing, fitness, anything else in between. I'm thinking about success. Now, the reason why I know I'm not completely asexual is because I do think about sex from time to time. Okay, that 95% of the time that I think about success, there's also that 5% where I think about sex, okay? But it's very, very rare. And even though I can enjoy sex from a physical standpoint, hence why I found pleasure in the PMO cycle and why I needed to start doing NoFap, I feel like intellectually, I have trouble enjoying sex because I just don't see the point of it. I don't see the point in doing something that you purely derive physical pleasure from. I just don't understand it. I understand it, but I don't understand it. I don't understand the hype behind sex. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm super experienced when it comes to sex, but I'm not a virgin. I am not a virgin, my body count is one. I've only had sex with one girl and it was a girl that I was in a relationship with. I would say on average we had sex probably two to three times a week. Okay, this might be a little TMI, but I'm just putting this out there to give you guys more context as to how I came to this conclusion. We would probably have sex two to three times a week and I probably finished five times at most five times at most. I can count on one hand the amount of times that I finished in, what, a seven month relationship, six and a half month relationship, having sex on average two to three times a week. And it's not because I didn't enjoy having sex physically. Okay, I thought that it was a great emotional bonding experience, but at the same time, I didn't really see the point in doing it, especially having protected sex. I understand if you wanna have kids or something like that, which believe me, I am nowhere near wanting to have kids. Nowhere near wanting to have kids. I'm 22 years old. I don't want kids anytime soon. But I feel like unless you're gonna have kids, what's the point? Yes, it's pleasurable, it feels good, but I just don't get it. And I feel like every time I would have sex, I would think about this. Now I wanna take it further back to a video that I made in late 2020. If you've been subscribed to me since then, you might remember this video. The video was called How I Almost Lost My V-Card. Now at the time, I was still a virgin. I ended up losing my virginity to my ex-girlfriend, probably January, February of 2021, so a few months later. But this was around September of 2020. I was talking to a girl from Tinder. Second time ever seeing her in person, I ended up in her bed. How that happened, I have absolutely no clue, but I ended up in her bed and I didn't do anything because I didn't feel compelled to do anything sexually. Now, I remember I made a video talking about this and people lit me up in the comment section. People told me I was gay, people told me I was weird, all types of crazy shit, bro. And the conclusion that I came to was that I was just scared. That's what I assumed. And I do think that there is a lot of truth to that sentiment. I do think that I was scared. I was too scared to do anything. I think prior to that night, I had never even kissed a girl before. So it made sense, okay, I was scared, whatever. But 
I think that she took that out of context. Okay, I feel like she thought that I didn't find her attractive, even though I did, I found her to be attractive. Otherwise, I wouldn't have ended up in her bed in the first place. But I think that she thought that I didn't find her attractive because I didn't make sexual advancement towards her. Therefore, she assumed that I didn't like her and then she started to distance herself. And I remember I ended up in her bed one more time after that, I still didn't make a move and then she ghosted me. And at the time, it blew my mind. It completely blew my mind. I couldn't understand why she ghosted me. But retrospectively, I realize now that that same exact thing has happened on multiple occasions. I just wasn't aware of it. You see what I've realized, and this could be a limiting belief in my mind, and that's kind of why I'm unpacking it in this video. But I feel like sometimes girls feel like because I don't make sexual advancements towards them, that must mean that I don't like them. But that could not be further from the truth. Okay, it's not that I don't like them. It's just that I don't like sex. I don't care about sex. And for me, when I look at a girl, I don't think about sex. I can look at a girl and find her physically attractive and want to be with her based on that, right? Or at least want to get to know her based on that. But for me, what comes after physical attraction is emotional intimacy, not sexual intimacy. And I think that's where the divide occurs between me and most other men. I don't think about sex. That link, that neurological link that connects physical attraction to sexual attraction does not exist in my mind. It doesn't exist. I don't know why, I don't know how that occurred, but it just doesn't exist. So when I see a girl, my first impulse is to try to get to know her at a very deep and intimate level, emotionally. I'm the type of person who, instead of flirting, likes deep conversations. I like deep, intimate conversations, even invasive conversations. I'm the type of person who wants to get to know somebody's intricacies and nuances, their idiosyncrasies. Why do you think the way that you think? Okay, why are you the way that you are? What childhood trauma did you go through? These are the types of conversations that I like to have with girls. Okay, especially now, now that I have an understanding of inner child trauma and how that can affect the way that you develop over time. Okay, a lot of times, man, I'll be talking to a girl and I'll just go full Jordan Green life coach mode on them <laughs> because that's just how I am. That's how I am. That's what I care about. Those are the conversations that I like to have. And I feel like any girl that I've been with in the past can attest to that. I just like to have deep conversations. I'm very big on emotional intimacy. That is what I care about. And to my point earlier, I feel like that kind of throws girls off because they feel like I don't like them or they feel like I just wanna be friends with them. But no, that doesn't mean that I wanna be friends with you. It just means that I don't care about sex and this is my way of getting closer to you and building that bond. Now, I do feel like once I develop that emotional intimacy, that's when I can start to feel a little bit of that sexual attraction. But even then, it's negligible, especially compared to other men. Okay, I feel like most other men, they're willing to do whatever it takes to get a woman in bed with them. For me, I don't care. A girl could tell me that she wants to save herself for marriage. She could tell me that she wants to save herself for the remainder of her life. I won't care. Okay, obviously that's hyperbole, but I think you get my point. I don't care about sex. I do not care about sex. I never have cared about sex. And given that I'm 22 years old, it's fairly safe to assume that I never will care about sex. It'll never be a predominant thought in my mind. Okay, for example, if you offered me unlimited money in exchange for a lifetime of abstinence, I cannot have sex for the remainder of my life, but I get unlimited money. I am taking that deal with no hesitation. No hesitation, no qualms about it because I don't care about sex. I don't care about sex at all. I care much more about success and obviously money is just one factor of success, but I care much more about success than I do about sex.